what was your attraction to UCA other than getting to play for Coach <laughs> Coach Pennell? I know that was intriguing, but uh, you're a well travel guy. I mean, you're Portland, Oregon native, right? And originally, so and then yeah. down to Phoenix College, and now here in Conway. So you've had an interesting road through your college career. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, Coach Rose has been there like every step of the way. So he saw me, I think, in a little gym at Red Mountain. Uh, I was playing point guard. Um, shouldn't have been playing point guard. <laughs> um, and yeah, he was been there like. And Coach Boone has been to like every single AAU tournament I've ever had, which is crazy. And yeah, so I mean, of course I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, I have to. The thing I like about your game is that you you had a stretch this year where you were struggling to score a little bit, and just to, for whatever reason we're off, and maybe you can put a, a finger on it now that it's hopefully over for good. Uh, but you've had a great run of late. But you contributed in so many other ways, rebounding defensively. I mean, you lead the team in blocks, which is odd for a guy that plays your position. Yeah. Um, you know, and and uh, rebounding wise, you know, one of the best rebounders on the team. I think you're leading the team in rebounding now at 7.2 per game. Um, how hard was it to go through that stretch, and how hard was it to stay focused on the other things you could do when your offense wasn't with you at that time? Um, it's not hard to focus on the other things because I've always prided myself on um, doing all the other things. I mean, um, I try to be as well-rounded as I can, but. I mean, if your shot's not falling, you have to affect the game some other way. But um, I was just, like, being inconsistent. Like, I had to get back to the basics of shooting. I was, like, changing my shot, and then I was, like, second-guessing. I was holding on to it on my mid-range, and I was just second-guessing myself, and it started to become a mental problem. So I just had to get back in the gym and do the flips and all the little things to get back into the rhythm of the things. If you have a shot to win a game, what's your favorite spot on the floor? Because there are a few spots that you look 100%. When I see you pull up from a couple spots, I'm like, he's not missing that. Um, just around the elbow, really. Yeah. Uh, I love the elbow. I don't know why. It's always been that way. Yeah. If I can get the one dribble in, it's kind of automatic. How me. much do you work on the turnaround? Because that has become a real staple for you, too. I mean, I see you're obviously very deadly when you're squared up at the elbow, but what about when, look, when you're coming up the lane, you catch it and do a little turnaround there, a little jumper there. Are oh, you talking about in the post? Yeah, well, if you come up and take and you catch it at the elbow and then oh, a little yeah. turnaround jumper there, you've been deadly with that this year too. Yeah, I've been working on that um in the off season just uh you know, like a, it's like a mellow type of iso move, so mm -hmm. I kind of like it. It looks it looks good on film, so I just try to do it as much as I can. Looks practice. good when it goes in, like exactly. it did this week. Exactly. Well, there you go. It leads me right into my next question. So, whose game do you not necessarily model yourself after, but who did you kind of come up watching and liking as far as the way they play? Mm, that's a good question. Uh, you know, coach is going to second tell guess him, whatever you say. Tell him who your favorite player is. Though. Oh, Boris Diaw for sure. Really? Far, yeah. You're the only person <laughs> in the world whose favorite player oh, is Boris Diaw. Okay. <laughs> but um, I think I play the most like uh, Nick Batum. Uh, he does he does everything well too. He's very well rounded and he can shoot. He can pass. He rebounds well. He plays good defense and he's long. So yeah. I think that's my best comparison. Uh, school wise, academic wise, what are you studying and uh, what do you have left as far as work goes? I have nothing left. Perfect. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, uh, health health management is basically my uh, health management and science is my uh, major. Okay. And I already got my degree in December, so. I'm just coasting. Right That's the now. only thing Derek and I have in common. We both have our degree. <laughs> what uh, What's your next plan? What do you What do you do after school ends? Um, try to find an agent. Um, figure out what the next plan is for basketball. Um, I haven't really gave it much thought. I'm trying to finish this out. You know, stay focused. I feel like it's kind of selfish for me to focus on that while I'm still doing this. Yeah, just just nice to think about a little bit though. I know Jake yeah. went overseas and played this yeah. year, coach, and I'm sure you've had uh, how many? I, Countless players over the 30, years. 37 that have played overseas and 11 in the NBA. And um, Derek will do really, really well wherever he winds up, whether it's in Europe or Australia or someplace like that, because yeah, they're looking for people that can score the ball. That's that's what they want more than anything else. And as he, as he gets older, he's even going to get better because uh, his game is uh, – he's got a pro game. He doesn't – go too fast but he's got great speed and quickness when he needs it he he's really good at uh you know just just really using his uh abilities when they're needed and 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 i think that uh the, the fact he can post and do all these other things it's going to be a really good highlight film for him getting a job somewhere i'm embarrassed to say that we've gone this far into the show and i haven't mentioned that there was a new school record set this week 17 threes made in the game and Derek obviously played a prominent role in that you and jordan were going off as part of a uh, victory over Nickel State. They hit 18, it should be noted as well. 
from my perspective, it was a heck of a lot of fun to call the game, especially since you guys won by a comfortable margin. But right. being part of a school record performance like that, I mean, just about everybody had it going. I mean, I even saw Jeff Lowry kind of looking for shots, which he <laughs> typically doesn't do first. He's like, maybe I can get some of this action yeah. too, and he did. So it was fun. I mean, that's uh, when you guys got a clicking like that, that had to be pretty special. Yeah, it was fun. Um, I was begging Jeff to shoot more, honestly, so it was good to see. But, yeah, it was just fun to – you know, you pass and you see somebody wide open, you know they're going to shoot it. So, you know, I have trust in all these guys to shoot. I've seen them all in practice. So it was just, yeah, it was fun to see everybody with confidence. Yeah, 106-83 the final there. Jordan finishes 8 of 9 from 3, his second 33-point game this year. As a guy who plays next to him, you know, we marvel at his shooting. What's it like yeah, to play with a guy like that? That guy is a, a freak. I don't even – I can't even explain what – he shoots from deep too, and it's really crazy. And sometimes he's like – he doesn't even follow through sometimes, and it's just like it doesn't make sense. I just never, I really never seen it before, so it's just fun to watch. 